What's going on everybody? It's Apollo Tech and today we're going to be talking about this. That may be a little indication to you right there, but today we're going to be talking about third-party MagSafe. I'm going to take this, scoot this over to the side and bring in Item number two. You may be wondering, hey, I've seen this case before. This is the Apple MagSafe clear case. In which case, you are wrong. <laughs> this is actually a third party MagSafe clear case from Amazon. Uh, really the whole point of this video is again to kind of explore third party MagSafe and see how well it's been adopted so far. You know, MagSafe has only been out for uh, a couple months now at this point. And so uh, I wanna see how fast the adoption rate is and how good these third-party accessories, third-party MagSafe accessories are for the iPhone 12 lineup. So links to everything will be in the description below. But again, we're gonna take a look at this clear case. Go ahead and pop it on, just like so. Boom, boom, boom. And actually one of the things you'll notice right away, I take it back off, is uh, compared to the Apple Clear case, this is actually a flexible plastic. So Apple Clear case is a hard shell. Uh, I actually heard it will crack around the edges if you mess with it too far. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ports and stuff on here as well, too. So it's your volume rocker, your power button, and then you got a cutout for the microphone and the speaker, and then obviously the lightning cable. You can see too it has this textured dot pattern all throughout the case uh, as to not show fingerprints. But as you can see, that's not really doing that great of a job. And then of course too, you can see the ring for the MagSafe and the lower part of MagSafe, because remember it's two parts. So um, a lot of people were saying about this case in particular, it only had about 14 reviews at the time of purchase. And a lot of people were saying that this case was just a $5 case with a $3 sticker on it. But if we actually take the iPhone here and we turn the camera on, you can actually see the magnets on the inside of the case. Uh, clearly it's not just a $3 sticker. So let's put it back on. And you can start, kind of see the fit and finish here. Fit and finish, uh, it actually fits pretty well. It's a little looser on the edges some, in some cases. Uh, it doesn't really like snug up as you can see there's a bit of a gap right there But other than that it actually fits pretty well It even has these little pockets towards the edges These little cushion pockets. You'll see these on higher end cases. What really consider this a high-end case uh, It is again a pretty inexpensive Amazon alternative Now for the fun part of this case set that off to the side is this guy so this, uh, this is actually a case combo. Uh, at the time of purchase, it was about 25 bucks for this entire thing, which is a pretty good value actually. Um, especially when you consider that the alternative is over a hundred bucks. So the case I know from Apple is about, I think 60 and this is also 60. When you consider this package is only 25 bucks, that's pretty good. So to show also to, again, further disproving the $5 case with the $3 sticker, we're gonna go ahead and take this, which should stick to nothing if it didn't have any magnets in it, or if this didn't have any magnets in it, pop it on, bingo. So there you go. It actually is pretty well secured. Do my Apple card in here, gonna take that out. I mean, you can really shake this thing and it's not actually gonna fall off. Pretty good-ish, and I say good-ish because we have another one that we're gonna test out and I'll show you kind of the alternative. You know, you get a case and you get a wallet, a leather wallet. Uh, I put, did put a couple of extra cards in here to show you kind of how well they stay in. And uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're not coming out. The cards coming out of this thing is not really gonna happen. I mean, they are, they're pretty, they're actually really secure in there. 
As far as this thing coming off the case, well, that's a little more likely, actually. This is, this is I will say, as far as a third-party alternative, I mean, it will stay. Like, if you really force it, or if you really don't try, uh, it'll stay. But just in the day or so that I've had this, I have had it come off a couple of times. So, there's that. But they are not falling out of here. So, we're also going to take a look at another alternative, actually. Right over here. Boom. So, here's another alternative. This is, again, a third-party alternative, obviously, <laughs> uh, from Amazon. Um, this is actually a leather MagSafe case. I just got this in hand maybe 10 minutes ago. So, enough time for me to go from my mailbox, sit down, and record this video. This is, like I said, it's a leather case and wallet combo. So, I think the brand actually may be on this little card that's in here, which will let us know how tough it is. Wow, it's really tough to get this thing out. Big strong man hands here. Nope, it's just a blank card. Get out of here. So this is another case uh, wallet combo. Uh, did take a lot of force to get that card out. So I'll be interested to see how many cards this can hold in comparison to this bluish one. We'll go ahead and toss the iPhone here and see how this looks. I always really like this brown leather I know Apple has a case just like this as well. Well, almost just like this, but this color, and it's always been my absolute favorite leather case ever. Uh, I usually get one for every iPhone that I have, but I have another tier, but this year it's, it's blue. It's my favorite color, it's great. So we're gonna slap this case on, see how it looks. Obviously this is for both the 12 and 12 Pro. That's why it has all these circles and stuff. So we're gonna toss it on here and see how it fits Ooh, and that's that's a little jank that's a little ugly not gonna lie <laughs> um you know the cameras don't really line up to the holes um yeah that's that doesn't look great but that's okay i'll honestly probably cut this little square out just to get rid of it because i don't plan on ever getting a 12 pro just ignore this <laughs> But really the most important thing, and we'll slide this one up to the side. Most important thing about this is how it differs from the other case. And I will tell you that this is a lot stronger of, a, of magnets. Uh, this does have multiple magnets in it as well. And these are a lot stronger. I mean, like really, really strong compared to the other ones. The, the sort of like magneticness, I guess. Is that a word? I don't know. Between the case and the actual wallet is just so much better. It, this one feels more like Apple quality. It doesn't look like Apple quality, but it feels more like Apple quality than the other one does. It's way more secure. I mean, I can, I have confidence and this one will not fall off. Plus it looks pretty, pretty baller if you ask me. So uh, taking a look around the case as well. So file on the top, on the side you have your volume buttons. And one of my biggest gripes with the cases is that the volume buttons or buttons are usually mushy, they're soft, they suck. These, I mean, they're really tight, they're really clicky and I really, really like them a lot. Uh, it does have these grips on the side as well. So like when you're holding it, uh, you can actually hold onto it. And that, I guess it has to do too with the the, the sides uh, being flat, but it does have a loop as well. If you wanted to use like a little holder or whatever you call those things, it has a correct amount of dots or cutouts for the microphone and speaker, as well as the lightning port. This side, another one of those grips and the clicky clicky volume button. I love it, love it, love it. So. Again, this back, it is pretty, uh, pretty s s not soft, but smooth, but still grippy. Like you can still have confidence that you're not dropping this thing. Again, this is the real key here. This magnet is way, way stronger. Just to prove it also, I'm gonna set that off over there, get the blue one, and then watch. Falls right off. The magnet in this, I guess, is not as strong as the other one, but you can really tell a difference on on the these two and how snap to the back of this case. 
Uh, even if we pull the other case over, here's the clear case, we smack this one on the back, it does stay, but it does slide off. And this is kind of the big deal with third-party MagSafe accessories, is that they're not Apple quality, so they're always going to differ from each other. Just in these two cases, this case combo was 20 bucks, and this case combo was 25 bucks. So, you know, even though that these have about a $5 difference, this case actually has stronger magnets in it. It's, it's kind of strange, honestly, to think, you know, that, you know, while the third party accessories are out there, they're not all built the same. Uh, they're they're pretty inexpensive brands, so yeah, that's that's kind of strange. I do have a MagSafe wireless charger as well. I don't know where it went, but I really just want to show off the cases though because these are really the big deals. You know, you'll be using these a lot, uh, especially if you want to use other MagSafe accessories. I feel like you know they're you know buying a third party brand may be kind of difficult. You know. Because it's not just like a regular case, you also have to take into account the strength of the magnets that you're getting. Because again, this $20 case combo has stronger magnets than this $25 one. That's very interesting. Last but not least, we're going to see how many cards this one can hold before it just explodes. Okay, we're going to start off with the Apple card here. I'm going to take this off. And again, you see how solid that was? I mean, I could probably... Uh, I was about to say, I could probably pick it up by the wallet, but that's not going to happen. We're going to take this. This also feels heavier as well. We're going to take this card, though, slide it in here. And honestly, that feels like it's going to be the only one that's going to fit. Uh, we'll get another one going. Oh, no. Looks like it's only one card only, which isn't that really big of a bummer. I mean, I will probably, I will be carrying my wallet anyway uh, alongside. Wow, this is really tough to get out. So I will probably be keeping... Uh, a wallet on me uh, anyway, so doesn't that look clean? Wow, that looks really, really good. I love the white peeking out, and the brown just looks fantastic. Uh, I will probably rock this case a little bit, uh, you know, every so often. I kind of tend to sway between clear cases, non-clear cases, but with this blue, I just love just not even having a case, to be honest. Yeah, that's it, though. That's it for the video. Really just wanted to test out and kind of show you the differences between MagSafe accessories. This looks really goofy right here. I'm gonna take a close up of this just goofy town right here. <laughs> Thanks for joining. I uh, hope you learned something. I hope this helps you with you know finding third party MagSafe accessories. Uh, yeah, this is this is gonna be an interesting thing to explore. I'm gonna rock these cases for the next week or so, and then kind of get feedback on whether the uh, the magnets, whether they kind of, you know, loosen up or they kind of lose their magnativity. I don't think that's a word, but that's okay. But I'm gonna see if they loosen up at all, if they weaken at all, and uh, report back to you. I'm gonna get rid of this goofy mess up here and we'll uh, we'll pick back up and, and check it out. If you liked anything in the video, links are down in the description below and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.